Now, you may not know this, but, Mikey, you may not know this, but I, I played a little bit of football in my life as well. Yeah. No, I, I have. Actually, I played a little, a little, I played a little football, and uh, it was actually a championship team. And this was my uh, team pitcher. I was about 12 years old, and it was called a farm team. And, you know, I know they have farm teams today, but this was a real farm team. As, as many of you know, I was raised on a great big ranch, about four or 500 acres, 600 acres. And uh, we had a lot of land. And I was also raised uh, as an only son, but my parents brought foster children into our home. So I had three natural sisters and a lot of foster children. In fact, we'd have about eight to nine at a time, which put us about 15 of us in the home. Well, then you take that many children, and then they have friends, so we were always, you know, Friday night, we'd invite more friends over to spend the night. We could have 15 to 20 spending the night, and I don't want to hear none of this stuff out of you mothers like, my two kids are driving me crazy. You know, none of, none of that wimpy stuff going on. You get to 15 to 18, and then you can say that, okay? Okay, so I'm out there on the farm with all the, my brothers and sisters, and, we're, and the best thing about all that is we could have all the sporting events we wanted. Okay, so here's the set. We're out there in the field, 50, 60 acre field. We had to move the cattle out of the way to set up the field. And, and we'd always pick kind of the boundaries. We'd go, okay, from the tree to the combine, to the tractor, to the barrel, back to the tree. That's the lines. And, you know, so we would start to play. And I, and I got to tell you, some of my brothers and sisters would drive me crazy because everyone wanted to make up their own rules. They all wanted their own rules. So we'd line up, we'd take off, and one of them would run out of bounds behind a car around a, some, other, some other piece of equipment. They'd, and then at the last minute, you couldn't get to them because they're behind the car, and then they'd break out and run across the, and score the touchdown. And I was just like, Ugh. I wasn't quite as spiritual then as I am now. And I'd be like, I I'm sick of this. So I said, come on, guys, let's go talk to Dad. So we went to the machine shed, and we, and we grabbed Dad, and we said, Dad, these guys are cheating. Yes, your children are cheating. And you got to do it. We need you to come be the official. And my dad just kind of stares at us and goes, honestly, my dad probably didn't know the first thing about football. And he's probably thinking, how am I going to officiate something I don't have any idea about? Then he walks over. He gets on the lawnmower, the riding lawnmower, the John Deere. He pulls up. He doesn't say a word. He just goes puts down the, the mower, and he mows from the tree to the combine, across to the tractor, across to the barrel back, and then he drives right on back to the barn. <laughs> and we're all standing there like, okay, we understand. And uh, it's amazing, probably 80% of the arguing stopped right at that moment. Yeah. As soon as there were lines, yeah. the arguing stopped. Right. Now, that didn't stop a little bit of the, you know, like, is the line there or is the line there? But no more was it the line here or is the line over there. I mean, we knew it was right about here. Is the line part of the field or is the line not part? It was one of those kind of things. You know, kids are going to argue. They're going to argue over. But at least my daddy raised probably 90, 80% of the arguing. And, you know, that, that's probably the first time in my life that I understood that, that lines really do matter. Yeah. That lines actually can make a positive impact on your life. 